Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome to your channel. We've had a lot of requests to do one video with our V-Bore, the vacuum chamber. That's over here. A lot of people have been asking us, will it seal jars? It will. If it'll, if it'll fit inside there, it'll, it'll seal it. The quart jars will not fit inside it. The model we have, it will not fit in there. You can get them to where they will fit. But uh, pint jars, you know, stuff like that fit, fit perfectly in there. So that's what we're going to use today. The quartz almost fit. I mean, it, it just like just a hair of closing the lid on it. So if it'll go in there and the lid will close on it, it'll seal it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a few different things. This is my instant dry yeast. I use it to make bread. So it's open quite a bit when I use it. And you can reseal it back each time or whatever you want to do. All right. Go ahead and put that back on there. We're going to put... We're going to put the beans in one. We're going to try powdered. Then we're going to try like uh, dry goods, like beans or whatever. And then we're going to try water. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to pour most of this we can in these jars. We've got two jars for this because I don't want to waste any of them. And I know they all ain't going to fit in one. Like that. And just want to split them. Yeah. Be perfect for a quart jar, though. Yeah. All right, close enough. All right. I'll just like snug the lid on you. Uh, just like you're going to water bed or something, you don't crank it down or nothing. Just, just stick it on there. Okay, and here, this one is going to put water in it. Oh, you can do tea or Kool Aid or whatever you want. Yeah, you can put whatever you want in it, I guess. We just want to show you that the liquid works. A lot of people would want to seal like uh, uh, soups, I guess. Would be a good idea to put in jars and stuff like that. It does look like liquor, though, not, <laughs> uh, not that I would know. But anyway, uh, a lot of people would want to store like soups and stuff like that in this broth. You can store broth in it and store it, whatever. We're going to take them over here and we'll, do it. we'll seal them one at a time. So... Let us get set up over here and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, on this thing, what I'm going to do, well, actually what I did earlier, you take and you turn, I put on 25 seconds vacuum time. I turned the heat, the, you know, the ceiling tab tape off. I turned it off and the cooling time I turned off because we don't need none of that. All we're doing is sealing it right now. So zero, zero and the Ed main just ready to go. All right, this is the powder, like the dry yeast. So we'll stick it in here. Like I said, if it'll go in there, then you just hit start. Should the lid go down? It probably don't even take nowhere near that long. There's Ed, it's ready. Let's see if it's in. That's about as sealed as you're going to get. You know, see how hard it is to go? You can hear it. It's on our good. Let's try two of them, you know what I'm Let that both fit. There's two pint jars of pinto beans. Give her. There's Ed. About as sealed as you're gonna get it. That one. Let's see if it done too. About as sealed as you're gonna get it. Now here's the the sketchy part will it pull this water out of here i don't think it will but we'll see like i said that's just regular water it's pulling the water 
water up. I'll, I'll need to tighten it up. See? So maybe, let me, it sealed it though. In that length of time. It did seal it. See how hard it is to get off or if it's hard to get off? It's wet, slippery. Oh, pretty good though. Hold it. There we go. That was on there. Let's try this. Take this and wipe this ring off a little bit. Dry my lid off a little bit. Put it back on there. But it did seal it. That's crazy though. It sealed it. Let me tighten that up. It sealed it and pulled some of the water out. Try again. Upon further investigation, obviously I didn't have the lid on it tight enough. So I left it kind of loose. Because it didn't pull any out that time. When the head comes, we're ready. There's the head. See, nothing come out of it that time. No, no liquid. All right. But it didn't seal. You got to leave it. Well, it did too. But not good. So maybe there's a maybe a trick to it where you got to tighten it, but not because I tighten the crap out of it. Let's try it one more, just one more time. Right there. Kind of tight, but not tight. It's still good. All right, guys, we got a new lid. I'm gonna try this one more time. This water, this water deal, liquid deal. Wipe the ring off. Put the lid on it. I'm gonna not leave it loose, but I'm not gonna make it real tight neither. Okay, water in the machine. sealed it. I feel like there's nothing on it. There's no, no liquid on it just to make sure. Yeah, no, there's, it's not wet in any way. So, and it's, it's sealed. It's up pretty good too. You know, ready? Try it this way. Pull my finger off. What I want to do. Ready? God dang! That was on there. So it must have been the lid. I mean, that was on there. So that must have been the lid. Uh, instead of just barely, when you like can or jar or whatever. You know, you just put a lid on this body, just turn it like that. So do that plus just a little bit more before you put it in there. Just a higher more, not, not a lot, about that much. And it won't pull the water out. And it'll seal the crap out of it. Crap. So, 
Yes, it will seal liquid. It seals it pretty good too. The trick to sealing water or sealing liquid of any kind would be to use a brand new lid the first time or a good lid. Make sure, you know, or put it in like hot water, make sure it's good and soft, pliable water when you put it on it like you do when you water bathing or whatever, pressure cannon. Then put the lid on there, it'd be fine. But you, if you reuse the lid a second time, it'll pull the liquid out of it. The first time it does perfectly fine, the second time it will pull the liquid out. So we learned that. See, if you look at the lid, you can see how it's indenting it around through there. It's pulling so it's such a vacuum on it. You can see the indent in the jar that's causing on the rubber lid. The v bore chamber vacuum, it will seal powders, it'll seal those in jars, it'll seal dry goods in jars, as long as the jar will fit inside the chamber, like I said. Quart jar will not fit in ours, but you can get them to where they'll fit probably half gallon or gallon jars, you know, it just all depends on how big one you want. All right, and it will seal liquids. It will seal liquids, but the trick to the liquids is if you if you put it in there and you unseal it, once you put it in there and you seal it first time, all right, and you unseal it, you have to use a new lid or like reheat this lid. You know, put it in like hot water or something like that to soften up that rubber ring in there. It will seal it again. Because if you, like we just showed you, if you put it in there and you seal it and you take it out, open it and try to seal it again, it will pull the liquid out through that rubber. It'll still seal the jar. The jar will be sealed, but it still pull the liquid out of the, the rubber ring. So. And these would be good to put oxygen absorbers in to make them last longer as well. Yeah, yeah, that, that is one good idea to take in any of the powders, dry goods, powders, anything like that. We strongly recommend you put oxygen absorber in there once you before you seal it. And these things will last longer than you probably, you know, longer than us. So in these jars, as long as you keep them out direct sunlight, keep them in your cabinet and a a pantry somewhere kind of dark it don't get extremely hot extremely cold something like that i would suppose i would suppose i mean may unseal them. So, yeah, maybe i mean it may cause a problem with the seal a lot of people say don't store them in like extreme swinging temperatures and stuff like that but honestly powders and dry stuff like this i don't see how that's going to hurt it i really don't as long as there ain't no direct sunlight on it now direct sunlight i think would hurt them especially through these clear jars but with the oxygen absorber in here as long as it stays out of the direct sunlight, I'd store them on a the porch and eat them 10 years from now. You know, I would, but that's just me. Don't do as I do, I guess. They recommend a cool, dry place. A cool, dry place, yeah. Like a pantry or something like that. But anyway, guys, we will leave links to this V-Board down in the description. Um, if you don't have one, I suggest checking them out because, I mean, that thing's a we game use, changer, yeah. We use it a lot. Yeah, it's a game changer as far as food storage and uh, Mylar bags. Um, jars anything like that that thing's a game changer it really is you you'd be very impressed with it if you if you had one if you haven't done so yet will you please like and subscribe yeah hit that subscribe and like button guys it's free to do won't cost you nothing and uh we will catch you on the next one have a blessed day like and subscribe there you go good job